Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Sephora and I thought, I thought I showed you my boob, but it's gonna be a Sephora and Ulta haul. I am very, very excited. I just recently purchased a ton of crap on Ulta and Sephora and I wanna share them with you guys. I also got ready this morning with a few of these products and I did film that, so it's kind of like a haul slash first impressions slash like almost Get ready with me, but not at all. You, you know what I mean? It's one of those videos. So you are gonna see a few of these things in action, and um, let's dive in. I honestly don't remember where I got what, so Ulta or Sephora. Not everything I got was makeup. I mean, it's mainly makeup, but I got this Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Body Cream. I didn't even know they had this. I'm obsessed with their banana and coconut shampoo. It smells so good. Oh, so good. It's not as strong as the shampoo is. It has a much lighter scent, but it smells identical to the shampoo and conditioner. I feel weird. I feel like I just rubbed shampoo all over my arm because I use that shampoo so often but it smells really yummy if you're into the shampoo and conditioner scent wise you will love this body cream formula wise I don't know hopefully it's hydrating and nice and yummy and not greasy because I'm not a big body lotion girl it has to be very lightweight moisturizing and hydrating but not greasy or slippy I don't like heavy moisturizers on my body, but I'm really excited to test this out. I love Briogeo, so I hope I love this. It is also made without silicones, parabens, or phthalates. Okay, I'm gonna go through the non-makeup products first, and then we could dive into makeup. This is super random, but I got this Kitsch, the Satin Sleep Set. What the heck did I just say? The Satin Sleep Set. I said shit. I'm getting older guys and you know, my skin is not as smooth as it once was and I hear that Sleeping with a silk pillow is the way to go for your skin. I don't like the feeling of silk on my skin. My mom, when I was younger, had silk bed sheets for me. And I remember every time she would change my bed sheets and she would put those damn silk bed sheets on, I was like, <laughs> I just want my cotton. I don't like this feeling on me. I don't know why. I'm convinced it's because I'm an Aquarius. I know what you're thinking, like, math, where does the math? Trust me, I just don't like it. But I hear that this is just the way to go when it comes to a pillow. So I really wanted to try a silk pillow. I've been wanting one forever. And then this one comes with a mask, like a sleeping mask. And I use these all the time because your friend Danny, he loves sleeping with the TV on and it drives me insane. I like to sleep in a pitch black room, but he doesn't. He says he has a hard time falling asleep. So, you know, I let him have the TV on. And then I just put on a little little one of these and then I'm good to go. I fall asleep so much faster when I have one of these on. And I do prefer a silk sleeping mask though. I don't really like silk on my body. When it comes to a sleeping mask, they're just so lightweight and they like form to your face. I really like silk sleeping masks. So I, I got this little set. Oh, it comes with a freaking little thing. I didn't know that. It comes with a scrunchie. That's awesome. I bought this, but I don't think I like it. This is the Pureology Style and Protect Refresh and Go Dry, sh dry Shampoo. Oh lord, what's happening to me today? I used this earlier today for the first time and it was good. Like, I feel like it, it's not bad, but it doesn't make my hair look as clean as I want it to. I personally have other dry shampoos that I like more that soak up the oil so much more. Like the Bumble and Bumble powder is really good. The Chlorine one is great. Even the Batiste dry shampoo from the drugstore, I think cleans my hair more than this or not cleans my hair but it leaves it less oily than this one i feel like my hair still looks pretty oily i mean i know it, it, it is and i need to wash my hair for sure <laughs> but i just feel like when i use my personal favorite dry shampoos like the ones i mentioned it leaves it a little bit cleaner looking you know it's not bad but it's not my favorite i've tried other dry shampoos in the past where all i need to do is use it once and then i know i never want to touch that ever again that's not the case with this one i don't dislike it so i'm gonna use it up but i probably won't repurchase it i was on sephora and then i saw this and i was like hey i don't have that so i had to pick this up i'm obsessed with tatcha skincare it's very very bright See? that's expensive but i really really love what it does to my skin and i saw that they have this new actually I don't know if this is new, but it's the rice wash. And it is a soft cream cleanser for normal to dry skin. That's me. It's a pH neutral cream cleanser of rice and hyaluronic acid that gently purifies while moisturizes. That sounds freaking amazing. I love this packaging, it's so beautiful. Tatcha stuff is so freaking beautiful. And I am so excited to try this. It has Japanese rice extract, hyaluronic acid, which is my favorite. And, uh, and yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah. Okay, so I don't really know how to say this name. 
Gisu, Jisu, Jisu, uh, I don't know, it's too fancy for me. But I have their honey hair oil and their hair perfume and it is absolutely beautiful. It's like so luxe and yummy and wow, I really smell this body cream. It's like coconut banana. I'm really, really into it. It's a pretty thick cream, but it's not greasy at all. My arm feels really moisturized. I think I like that. But I feel like the scent is even stronger now. Like it really is lingering. I mean, I've only been sitting here for like 10 minutes, but still. Anyway, this brand just recently got to Sephora and I've been wanting to try more of their products. So I got the Propolis Infused Heat Protecting Spray. And I know what you're thinking, Kathleen, what do you mean a heat protecting spray? You're gonna go back to Curly and we're gonna do this natural thing again. This straight thing was just a dip in the pond for a second. And yes, I know, but look, back here it says, contains a UV filter to protect against sun damage. I'm protecting my hair from the sun. I'm literally gonna wear this even when my hair is curly. I've been swimming more often. I just wanna protect my hair from the heat and from the sun. I'm outside a lot, so I don't know, I got this. And sometimes I'm gonna do things to my hair and you know, heat protecting is always nice, no matter what. So I, I picked this up and I really just wanna test it out. It says heat me, treat me, complete me. And yeah, so got me one of those okay and then before we get into all the makeup stuff i got two travel perfumes to test out and whenever i'm gonna be ballsy and buy a perfume without smelling it first i always get a little travel size just in case and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't and in this case it worked out 50 percent because i am so 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 happy with this perfume in fact i already bought it in full size which i shouldn't have i should go through all my perfumes but i i, I love this so much this one I actually didn't really like. I'm keeping it in the box because I'm gonna give it to my mom because I think she would really like this perfume. I got the Giorgio Armani My Way perfume and I'll leave the little notes right here for you. But this one, it smells nice, don't get me wrong. It's a really, really, it's nice. It smells really fresh. I don't hate it at all. I actually don't even dislike it. In fact, I like it. <laughs> but as you guys know, I have a huge freaking perfume collection and I have to fall in love with a perfume now in order to keep it. If it doesn't make me swoon, I don't really want it anymore. And this one is absolutely beautiful and I think it could be so many people's favorites. I just, it's not for me right now. This one, however, it has the perfect name. This is Marc Jacobs Perfect. The name of the perfume is Perfect. Something about this perfume is so nostalgic to me and I would love it if somebody can comment down below what. Have you guys smelled Marc Jacobs Perfect? It kind of reminds me of Britney Spears it's either curious or fantasy, I, can't, I don't know which one it is, with something else. With like a Calvin Klein perfume I have in my head. I can't, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna leave the notes for you right here. But it just smells so fresh and it's like floral sweet but also sexy but very, very fresh. It's a nice daytime scent but I feel like it's strong enough to last you through the night. Like this is a pretty long wearing perfume. Oh my God, is that? I thought I got it for a second, but no, I don't know what it reminds me of. But it is a beautiful, beautiful scent. I freaking love it. And it lasts a decent amount of time on my skin. So that was a winner. I got two setting sprays. I love me some setting sprays. I love testing new ones. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I tested this out on my stories with you guys the other day. And when I tell you it locked in my makeup all day, it locked in my makeup all day. It says it's a no melting, no fading, no creasing setting spray that primes and sets for up to 16 hours. And I really feel like it, it locked my makeup in, but you know what? It didn't make my skin feel really tight like the freaking what is that setting spray called model in a bottle do you guys remember model in a bottle from back in the day like 2008 youtube uh what a time what a time there are even some skindinavia setting sprays that make my skin feel way too tight this one is really nice. It locks your makeup in, like it sets it, but it doesn't feel like hairspray. I mean, I personally would only use this one when I want my makeup to really last. If I'm going somewhere, I'm gonna be out all day or all night, someday, then I'll use this. But on the day to day, I prefer something more dewy, more hydrating, something that melts the makeup in. I mean, this melted my makeup in, but it's just one of those long wearing setting sprays and I like that. I like that one. It's really good. This one I tried earlier today and I really really loved the scent and I really loved how it made my skin look. This one has a coconut scent but there's something else in there. It's not just coconut. It's almost like a watermelon coconut pineapple. It's a tropical explosion. This smells so freaking good. Oh this on the back it says pina colada. That's exactly what it smells like. But it just made my skin look really nice. It wasn't too dewy. I definitely feel like it's more hydrating than luminizing and glossy. It's just like a really nice everyday hydrating face mist. 
I have to use it more. <laughs> but I really, really love the scent and I love how it made my skin look. Okay, I had to pick this up. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer Dewy Foundation Grip. It says it grips it for up to 12 hours. Preps, smooths, and hydrates. Doesn't that sound amazing? Get down and dewy with an all nighter ultra glow face primer infused with hyaluronic acid. Damn. Another one. Agave extract and our weightless formula hydrates the skin for an ultra gleamy glow. This unique glassy gel glides on smoothly for a soothed, moisturized feeling skin that grips foundation and keeps you looking fresh all day. I used it today for the first time and this reminds me so much of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. Have you tried that one? It's literally identical to those types of primers. Even Cover FX has one where it's a bit tacky and it like really grips onto the makeup. I used to use the J1 Jelly Pack as a face primer. Do you guys remember that? And that has the same consistency as this. Those really thick, clear, gel-looking face primers are really amazing at keeping your makeup on all day. So I'm really excited to see that Urban Decay came out with their own version of this. I know that the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip was actually breaking out a lot of people. I didn't really see any issues with that. I just kind of got nervous and kind of stopped using it. But I use it from time to time and it is really good. I'm going to continue to use this one and then I will update you on a later date. But it felt really nice. Like it was nice and tacky. My foundation went on nicely. I've actually been wearing my makeup for hours now because the clips you saw of me applying all of this stuff, like actually doing my makeup, that was hours ago. That was like this morning. The sun was like beaming through my windows. So I've had my makeup on for about four to five hours now and it still looks pretty good. And maybe this has been helping. Guys, I have been wanting a brand to come out with a product like this for a million years. This is the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Sculpting Brow Wax Pencil and Styler. I've been saying forever that we need a soap brow in a glue stick form. I just want a brand to give me something that looks like a glue stick that's like soap brows, but it's not like the whole soap brow mission thing where I have to open this tin and like get my brush all wet and I don't wanna go through that mission, but I want the soap brow look. So when I saw Fenty came out with this, I was like, did they do it? Did they create my perfect brow product? Because on one side you have the brush. This is a nice little brush situation here. And then on this side you have the wax. And when I first started to swatch this on the back of my hand, I was like, oh my gosh, this is freaking amazing. And even when I started to apply it to my brows, I was like, oh my God, this is freaking amazing. It has a really, really good grip and it just gives you the most beautiful feathery lashes. It really sticks them up there and honestly makes your lashes look absolutely gorgeous. And then the little brush is awesome too. You just brush through the hairs and it's nice and stiff so you can really get all up in there and manipulate the brow hairs to be placed exactly where you want them. So I was really, really excited, but now that I've been wearing this for a few hours, I noticed that my brows have started to fall a little bit. While I was applying it, it felt kind of like, ooh, this is gonna dry and it's gonna give me perfect, strong, feathery brows forever. But the wax never like 100% dries, so it doesn't stay feathery, it doesn't stay like pointing up all day. It does eventually fall, but it is a really good wax, so I feel like maybe if I use this in conjunction with my Nude Sticks Brow Gel, then maybe that would create like an insane cocktail and it will keep my brows in place all day. So I'm still gonna play around with that because I think something like this is genius. I just wish it like set a little harder. But yeah, so far so good. I have been wanting to try the brand Nabla for a really, really long time. I got a couple of their things in a recent trend mood box and then I was on Sephora, no, Ulta the other day and I saw that they have these new bronzers on the site. So I was like, ooh, I love me some bronzers. I haven't tried a new bronzer. In a, f in, a, in a few weeks. <laughs> so I got the Nabla Skin Bronzing Sun Kissed Effect Bronzing Powders. I got Soft Revenge and Ombra. I'm actually wearing both of them on my face right now. I mainly have Ombra all over my face, my neck, my cheeks, and all that. I like bronzed my entire skin with it. And then I took a more precise brush and I went in with Soft Revenge and I really contoured my cheeks a little bit more and just gave myself an overall like deeper bronze look with this. And I really love this formula. It's really smooth it blends like a freaking dream guys such an incredible like bronzer formula i love it and then i picked up this nabla gloss it's called district and it's a really 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 cool light like cool tone nude i just loved the undertone in it so i wanted to pick it up it's one of their shine theory lip glosses and i actually want to try a few more i'm wearing a little bit of this on top of a lipstick i'm about to show you but i just really really like the color and it gives you a really nice shine i'm definitely gonna look at more shades you guys know my love for pat mcgrath i'm obsessed with her formulas her packaging I really, really love her. And I picked up three of her new Lip Fetish lipsticks. I got Wild Cherry, Flesh 3, and Blow Up. I'm wearing, guess, 
I love me a good nude. These lipsticks are so creamy. You guys know I've really been into those like creamy, shiny lipsticks. I love shiny lips these days. Oh no, this is not the one I'm wearing. I think I'm wearing Blow Up. Yes, because this one's Wild Cherry. So it's a really pretty like sheer red cherry shade. I cannot wait to wear that with cherry jelly on my nails. And then like I said, I'm wearing Blow Up on my lips. It's a really, really pretty everyday nude. And I just love the formula on these lipsticks so much. I'm sure you can find dupes out there. I know Pat McGrath is pricey. And there are definitely other brands that make these nice shiny creamy lipsticks like I know the Sephora brand like the Sephora collection brand their stuff is way more affordable than the brands that Sephora carries and they have some really good shiny lipsticks so definitely check those out if you don't want to look into Pat McGrath but I got those. I just got three because, I mean, like I said, that's expensive, but I just had to get my hands on them. Speaking of shiny lipsticks, I also picked up three of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butters. Like I said, I got three shades. I got Teeny Bikini. It's a really pretty, like, orange nude. Soulmate, a deeper brown, as you can tell. And then I got Keep It Rio, which is a really pretty light nude, and this is the one I used on my stories the other day. These smell really good, but I feel like it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. I think you should definitely smell these before you buy them because I really like them, but there is like a hint of popcorn in it somehow. I don't know how to explain it to you. It's not like the popcorn that's in their body butter cream, like the blue one. No, it smells a little bit more vanilla than that. There's a movie theater butter scent there. There really is. I can't, I can't explain it. But I really love this packaging and I do love the shine it gives my lips. I really like them a lot. I picked up something from the brand One Size, which is Patrick's brand. Patrick Star, and I got two of his eye poppers. These are the Sparkle Vision eyeshadows, and I got the shade Death Drop and Continental. Continental is the shade I'm wearing on my eyes today. I do have something else on top. I have the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Cowboy something on top of this glitter shadow, but I mainly have this like on my lid right here The Urban Decay glitter is like more towards my crease and it's a little bit more silver This is a really pretty olive with golden sparkle and it's a really nice formula It is something you have to build up. It's not super super pigmented You have to do a few layers, but I really like the chunky glitter in this I think it looks really pretty on the lids that to me is what makes it it's like the thick uh, like sparkles in it. So I got those two shades. I can't wait to use the black one like on a really deep smoky eye And then I also got these these are also like liquid eyeshadows These are the Natasha Denona chromium liquid shadows and these are insane my friends. Okay, look at this This is not glittery like the Patrick ones are glittery. This is like oil slick metallic duo chrome flip There's like 47 colors in each of these things like this one has green blue purple yellow this one has pink, orange, green, blue. Like, it's so freaking crazy. I want to use these on a Monday makeup sesh. I think I'm going to use it on my next one, actually, because I want to do my whole lid with this. Like a wah moment. Because these are freaking insane. And if I love it, I'm going to buy all of them. I cannot wait to use it. Okay, guys, I got so excited for this. You don't even know. You don't even know. When I saw that Anastasia came out with their own version of the brow flick, I got really excited. This is the Anastasia brow pen and it's like their version of the Glossier brow flick, the thing I'm obsessed with. I haven't used anything else. It's so crazy how when I did that video, I did a first impressions on the brow flick. It was the, it was the first time I used it obviously and I, I was a hot mess. I didn't love it, but so many of you guys were commenting like, trust me, practice makes perfect. You'll get the hang of it. It's a great brow product and dude, you were so right. Once you get the hang of that, I feel like there's no turning back. I love how realistic and feathery my brows look ever since I started using the brow flick. I just love those little pen strokes and in my opinion, it lasts way longer than any Anastasia Brow Wiz ever did on my brows. So when I saw that they came out with the brow pen, which is pretty much the same thing, I got really excited. I, I used it today for the first time and I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if it's because my Glossier one is a little bit faded, but my Glossier one just seems a little bit more natural. This one is in dark brown, so I think it's a little bit deeper, but I still really liked it. I feel like it made my brows look really nice and feathery, and I hope to see like more brands do things like this in the future because I love this type of brow product. Like I cannot get enough. So I'm so happy to see that they came out with their own version of it. My Glossier one is still my, my favorite, but I really liked it. It was good. And then the last thing in this haul, I got this Bare Minerals Strength and Length Serum Infused Brow Gel. This is a little bit lighter and like warmer than I would normally go, but it doesn't really show up on the brows that much. 
I got mine in the shade Coffee, and this is a vegan brow gel that has a fortifying plant-based serum for fuller, healthier looking brows, but it also has like natural pigments in it, so your brows also look fuller. It's like a brow gel and a brow serum in one, and I'm really excited to keep using this. I mean, I used it today for the first time, but this is something you definitely have to use more than once. So I will get back to you guys on this. But uh, yeah, that's everything I got, my friends. That was everything I picked up from Sephora and Ulta. And I cannot wait to play around with these things even more. I love testing new makeup. You guys know it's like my favorite thing. But yeah, let me know if there are any more new products out there that you want me to haul, you want me to purchase them and review them and try them out. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what it is and I will definitely get to that. That's it, that completes this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my God, I wish you guys could see how my wings is asleep right now. She looks so cute. She heard me say her name, so she opened her eyes. Oh my God, Cornelius just farted. That was so weird. I went to like smell this perfume and I got like both this scent and fart and it was just really weird. I also picked up three of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kips. Brazilian Kips.